which of the following most nearly gives the allowable value of P based on weld strength? Sige, so start ulit natin i-determine yung mag-govern na capacity sa weld strength. Unahin muna natin yung sa welds. So, E70 electrodes pa rin to, no? So, ang F sub NW natin, katulad lang nung na-compute natin before, that is 289.9. Then, times natin sa area ng weld. So, magko-consider tayo ng 1 mm length of weld ulit, no? So, 0.707. Ang weld size daw na ginamit is 11. Then, times natin yan ng 1 mm. Strength ng welds natin per unit of length. So we have 2253.7746 newton per millimeter. Okay. So kunin natin yung allowable value. Divide lang natin yan by the factor of safety which is 2. We have 1126.8873. Kung mapapansin nyo, same lang ang ginamit na grade for both of the members. Doon sa dalawang plates, ang strength na ginamit is yung pang grade 15 na steel. So, ibig sabihin, when checking the tear yielding or when checking the base metal strength, so kahit ang gamitin na lang natin is yung para sa mas manipes. Doon na lang sa member with lower thickness. Tear yielding. R sub N equals 0.6 FY AGV 0.6 times 345. Ang thickness ng ating mas manipis na member is 19 times natin ng 1 millimeter length. So this is 3933 Newton per millimeter. Divide natin ang factor of safety for your yielding. That is 1.5. So we have 2622 Newton per millimeter. For the shear rupture, we have R sub N equals 0.6 F sub U A N V. So we have 0.6 times 4, 50 times 19 times 1. So ang shear rupture natin is... 5130 Newton per millimeter. Then divide natin ang factor of safety for shear rupture. We have 5130 over 2. We have 2565 Newton per millimeter. So iko compare lang natin yung mga nakuha natin. So, 1126 versus 2622 versus 2565. No? So, ang pinakamababa is 1126. So, ito yung magiging source natin ng weld strength. So, ito na yung allowable weld strength. Yan na yung strength ng 1 mm length of weld. So, itatimes na lang natin yan ng length kasi, syempre, mahaba yung welds mo. So, itatimes natin yan dun sa length ng weld. But first, syempre, kailangan natin compute yung effective length ng welds. So, we need to compute for beta again. So, in determining beta, kailangan makompute muna natin yung ratio ng L tsaka ng W. So, that is 250 and 11. So, we have 22. So, if it's less than 100, therefore, ang beta natin is 1.0. So therefore, we can now compute the capacity. So allowable strength of welds. So yung strength per unit length, ita times na lang natin na effective length. So kung 1.0 ang beta, the effective length of the welds is simply 1 times 250. Then we just have to multiply by 2, kasi dalawa yung welds. Therefore, we have. 563443.65 newton so in kilonewton this is 563.44365 kilonewton okay sige then compare na natin yung demand sa capacity 
Ang demand natin is P and then ang capacity is 563.44365. Okay, so ito na yung sagot natin for number 5. Which of the following most nearly gives an allowable P that can be applied? We will now tabulate. So we have tensile yielding, tensile rupture, block shear, tsaka weld strength. So, compute muna natin yung sa block shear. Take note ha, isa lang ang block shear nito, dun lang sa kinakabitan. So, ang block shear ay mangyayari dun sa 19 by 350 na blade. Okay, so this is 250. This is 250. This is also 250. Compute muna natin yung block shear. So, EGV, that is 250 by thickness, 19 times natin ng 2. We have 250 times 19 times 2. We have 9,500. Ang A and V, parehas lang, 9,500. A sub NT, that is 250 by 19 times 1 lang. Kasi isa lang naman yan. That is 4750. Okay, so let us compute the block shirt strength nominal. 0.6 FY EGV plus U sub BS F sub U A sub NT. We have 0.6 9.5 plus 1.0, 450 times 4.750. Okay? So, let us compute the nominal block shear strength. That is 4.104 Newton. This is 4.104 in kilonewton. Divide lang natin yan ng factor of safety, no? So, compare natin yung demand sa capacity. Diretso ko na. The demand is P. Compare natin sa capacity, which is 4104 divided by 2. So, therefore, P is 2,052 kilonewton. Okay? So, kompleto na. This is 2,052 sa tensile yielding, we have 1291. Sa tensile rupture, 2003. Sa weld strength, we have 563. Okay? So, syempre, we choose the lowest. So, this is now our answer for number 6. No? And that is letter B. Okay?